It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we're just going to be kind of messing around with the world's domination 2.0. Now, there's been a ton of changes, and I'm just going to be kind of looking over those stuff because I'm still learning about all this new stuff. There's so much I'm getting used to. I mean, there's a lot of growing pains, I gotta say. It can be tough because I've been playing a lot of the old world domination beta. I think it was 1.0.9, if I remember correctly. And it was a lot. It's a ton different. I'm still getting used to all the different things. So I thought we'd just kind of go through all the new stuff and kind of mess around with it and try to figure it all out. Y'all can just kind of go along with me on my little learning spree because I'm still figuring it out. So, of course, I mean, this is obviously the training thing. I'm still saving up my coins so I can repair some of them because, oh, goodness gracious, the dog is going off. He just likes, he just likes hearing his own voice sometimes. It's just how he is. But, you know, I obviously understand how all the upgrading works, you know. So I'm working on upgrading my Lumberjack right now because I feel like he's just a beast and I need to get him upgraded. Now, I'm actually wondering, do I have a Timber Beast? That I, Do I have two of them? Because I want to be able to evolve it. Timber Beast. I have one Timber Beast, and honestly, at the point I'm at, I'm not really sure if I want to upgrade him because I don't have a second one to max out and evolve, and I'm all about evolving my troops at this time because where I am, I pretty much like to have all my troops evolved at least above 11, and then I'll just keep going from there. But that's kind of what I've been focusing on mostly, so I don't know if I'm going to work on that yet. But while that's going, let's see. What, who do I want to upgrade? Hmm. I love my scatter shot. I also have my... I like a lot of these people. Jeez. Oh, I want my dead shot. So I'm going to start upgrading my dead shot. It's going to take 57 minutes. I mean, that's worth it, I think. That's fine. Uh, I'm... Okay, so I just got all my skills back. I, it took, like, forever. It took, like, a ha one and a half day. About a ha day and a half to get my Miles Tough cocktail back. Took a while to get my flare back, but now I'm just kind of working on upgrading all these to the, going through the skill tree. And look at this, guys. To upgrade this, 10 days, 10 hours, and 48 minutes. That's steep. I, can, I don't know if I could do that. But right now, I'm just kind of working on upgrading my Stimzy. Kind of, you know, just seeing whether these different skill trees, what skills I want. So I'm just kind of going through upgrading. I'm just, I think I'm just going to upgrade. I don't know yet. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, but I started upgrading the first skill for Stimzy. And there are 14 minutes left on it, so almost there. So it looks like we finished off all that. Uh, now I'm going to click some of my resources. Now I did deploy a lot of my better troops here just because I wanted to have a better max like collection, as you can see. Like when I put in another level 8 unit, you can say, it'll up the max to 3,920. 3, I'll actually do that because she is not in my main team. And that's pretty much just trying to get the higher max. So like while you're not gone and playing, you'll be collecting rewards. So I just got a lot of cans for that, which was definitely worth it. So of course the store is the store, nothing different there. And I'm just going to defend. Now the team powerhouse kind of got me. It's nipped me in the butt because I just don't know how to manage it yet, but I'm still learning. I mean, I basically know how to do it, but you know, we're learning, we're getting there. And where are all the cities? Come on, show up for me. All right, Chicago. Oh, I love Chicago. Chicago's the bomb. A-E-K -A is tearing it up right there. He's going for the win. All right. Let's see how far I can push for this. What can we do? What kind of damage can we do? So Chicago, let's defend it. Let's see. What kind of, What should I borrow? I'm definitely going to go for these sh sh little scatter shots. Uh, yeah. Expert, I think. Because I have an overly powerful team. I think yes. What? 2750. How much power do I need? Ooh, I'm just going to go for hard then. It's all good. I can roll with it. We'll just kick butt. What are we going to do? So we're just going to dominate dominate Chicago. We'll blow you away. All right. Let's see it. Will it blow us away? I don't know. We're going to find out. All right, so we got a lot of daredevils, which can be a problem because, you know, they just can be annoying. Why? I thought I borrowed the scatter shots. All right. We'll deal with it. All right, so this is actually very late. This is laid out very interesting. I don't know how to say that, but um, so I'm gonna put a machine gunner, a dead. I'm gonna put both dead shots back here. <clears throat> Timber B, lumberjack, lumberjack, right there. Let's let him out just a little bit. I'm actually gonna move these guys back here. I'm gonna put all four mercenaries here, and I think that should be pretty good little setup there. The lumberjacks will be able to take some damage, and then the mercenaries are gonna cause problems for them. I think that'll be a very good little setup there. I'm actually going to put a mercenary 
not mercenary. I'm gonna put a machine gunner right here. A sharpshooter back here. I'm just gonna move him back a little bit so he's kind of in range of everything there. Let's see if I want to move him right there. Okay, not there, but there. All right, kind of right in the middle of the road there. And let's just put some a commando and a lumberjack there. And that should be pretty good. I'm actually going to do this as well. I'm going to have one lumberjack and then two commandos. And they're pretty much just going to do as much as they possibly can until they can't do any more. And then I'll put a bunch of snipers right over here just kind of chilling out. Let's move them up just a tad. And, ooh, can we do this? Have them all right over here. That's actually perfect. Have a little group right there. That's going to help kind of get some crossfire going. That'll be very helpful. All right, so let's start the waves and see how we handle this. I even brought some level one gunfighters. That's always fun. All right, so right off that, we have some Colossuses coming out with, of course, the Daredevils. And that's not too bad. Now, these commanders are just locking down all of these com these little drones here. So that's perfect. These commanders are amazing because they're just great against those commandos. Not as good against Colossus, so if we do get in any Colossus back there, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but that's why I have the snipers to help take out those Colossus. That way the commanders can just focus on the drones and the runners, or daredevils, of course. So these mercenaries are doing their job phenomenally. They do great amounts of damage to daredevils and drones. That's what their pretty much main key thing is. That's why I love them so much, because once you get into a high enough level, they'll be able to take out all those lower health mutated zombies, of course, and taking out tons of drones, which is always extremely helpful can't i send some of these waves early i'm gonna try sending some of these waves early once i get the chance to because that way i'll get some extra trophies and i'm all about getting extra trophies all right i'm gonna stim up this group right here boom stimmed zed stim zed boom boom okay we're gonna send that now we're gonna send that now we're gonna send that now and we're gonna get some extra trophies all right here's what i'm talking about as you can see not doing much damage against the Colossus, but the snipers did their job. Amazing. Perfect. What is going on with the flare? I don't know. All right. I'm just going to let them get taken out because we have a lot of perfect, like, little extra defenses here. We have a, a machine gunner over there. I'm going to take out this spitter. He's just being annoying. He's just causing me tons of problems. So he's going to be taken out. Mostov cocked up the greater. They took out a bunch of drones. Main focus is over here because that other pad is finished with. I'm going to stim up my group right here. Didn't even need to stim him. Look at that. 423 trophies. Time bonus, please. 124. I love it. 547. Sweet. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Got a 28 trophy bonus from our guild perks. And let's continue. We got a sniper. I mean, I'll take it. I'll roll with that any day. Chicago. Chicago. Chicago, Chicago. All right. You know what? Let's do one more attack and see if we can get into that tier where we're going to be getting some prizes. And I'm going to borrow this commando because that will come in handy. We're going to do hard because we're just all about that life. We're just going to go off. Go crazy. We're going to finish this off in the quickest amount of time possible. So with that being said, what am I going to do? Hmm. How am I going to take this on? All right, this will be good. Um, all right, so let's put a machine gunner back here and then these three commandos right there, and we're just going to see how that rolls for now. We're just going to see how we handle this, and we'll make adjustment adjustments accordingly. Uh, let's put another machine gunner right. Let's actually put the machine gunner here with two sharpshooters, and we're just going to have them do that. All right, so we are starting off. First things first, that Colossus coming down here. We're going to be seeing how they handle that. We need to get that machine gunner loaded up quicker so we can take out that Colossus and then go for all those drones. So the machine gunner is revved up, and he's just going to kick butt from there on out. These commanders are doing very good. Quite well, I must say. All right, I'm going to send them right on over here. They're going to get a better view. I'm actually going to send that early. I'm going to send that early. I'm going to send that early, get some extra trophies going. Machine gunner slowly getting revved up, warmed up right there. And he's just going to start tearing down that little straightaway of zombies, which is perfect. I'm all about that. That's amazing. I'm going to try to stim up these commanders right here as they focus on this. And basically, I'm going to speed this up because we're just waiting on these guys to come down this straightaway. The machine gunner's just tearing them up. Let's send all these a little bit early, get some extra trophies because I love it. That one daredevil got a little close. Okay, I'm going to stim these guys up. 
because we okay we took out the spitter that's good all right i was about i was about to get a little bit worried on that spitters can cause a ton of problems because there's hiding in the back tons of drones are coming out they're a pain in the butt i don't like them all right so i'm gonna use a mazdov cocktail back here to take out these guys that are kind of chilling in the back try to get rid of them okay forgot one who cares it's all good let's see if we can speed them up a little bit by flaring that flare is really short i do need to upgrade that all right two more knocked them out looks like we got a two piece there I'll take that. All right, time boat's 124. We finished off with about 616 trophies. I love it. Cleared that stage, got 616. Got a good amount of XP, got 430 crates. I love it. And let's continue and see where we stand on the leaderboards. And I'm gonna keep powering, up, powering my way through. I'm gonna see how high I can get on leaderboards in Chicago. Probably not gonna get too far because there's only 11 hours left, but I'll see, I'll try another war later. later. So I'm in 26th place. I'm actually going to try to power through and try to get to a higher spot on the leaderboards to the next war if it's longer because I'm going to need time and the weekend's coming up. So why not, what not a better time to do it than then. So that would be very, very helpful. I think that would be good. So that's going to call a day for Chicago. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.